So, at the 5 km mark, the sea is good, there wasn't much wind, therefore I decided to make a shortcut and this huge bay to cross it. Via the most short way. I'm heading the cape, the left one in front of us, and missing two cities, one here and the other one under the sun. Hopefully, I won't have problems. If the waves get bigger, then I have to leave the, the, the idea and go closer to the shore. So, this is the end of the shortcut. This is the town of Potos, I think. Uh, so let me try to take a picture from here. And the pace is good. And the sea is very good now. I believe. And I'm, fe I'm feeling okay. And we'll see. Maybe I will not go for two stops, but regular one at the 20. And, and it depends. It depends if the sea is okay, I will continue more, further and further. And we'll see. Not bad. No more south shore of Casus. Now we are turning to the west shore. This is the end of the island. This is the southeast end of the island. As you see, the open sea everywhere, south, east, and now we are heading north. Soon I will reach the 15 kilometer mark, and I will have to decide whether I'm going to rest on the 20th kilometer mark or we'll just continue I don't know honestly what is important for me now is to pass this place as safe as possible because it seems to me very rough but this is usual for a cape exposed to open air, open uh, sea. Oh, what a cake here. Look how big it is. Nice. Maybe I will try to picture it. If you want to make a picture with a subsea kayak, you have to drop your legs Good pictures taken. Now let's go. Oh, this is not the best way for me to do pictures like this. So let's go. Yes. 15 kilometers are done, completed, and we are heading now to the 20 kilometers mark. See what, what it will be like. So, just reach 20 kilometers. On your left, on this cliff, I think it's a monastery. 
far ahead of us I think is the the Cape of Golden Beach but I'm not sure closer there is an island soon we will go there and we are in the open sea the sea is very good and I think that I have some wind in my back this time so it will be favorable for me hopefully uh, 20 kilometer mark means I must have a rest but first I don't find here appropriate place to rest this one second sea is very good and I think it's more wise to continue no matter the pace and the third reason maybe I will not rest soon uh, is, is the fact that according to the last forecast at noon the wind will the wind go more intensive which if I be able to avoid I would take it so maybe I will skip the rest and continue paddling until the end of the trip but depends you know let me just reach that island in front of us and I will decide then bye for now 25 kilometers behind me another shortcut I'm doing and the sea is very nice very calm I think so far and this is the main reason that makes me not willing to stop for a rest because honestly speaking I don't feel very tired hungry yes but tired no so far so once I reach this cave in front of me I will see how much is left and we will decide and now of course I have to see what time is it now because the forecast says until noon we are all good in terms of wind and sea condition after that not a huge problem but not that good so I will see let's keep paddling and I will come back to you later on
so we are at the 30 kilometers mark and the uh, waves are big but no wind hope fortunately and I'm kind of tired and this is the island that I see in front of me and if there is a deserted beach I would have gone for a rest because now I need it that's for sure before the final these high mountains in, that you see far ahead indicates they indicate we are very close to to Golden Beach because Golden Beach is surrounded by high, high mountains and hopefully I'm not far away but I do want some rest and hopefully on this island ahead of me I will have one What you see is Golden Beach. So this trip, this trip, and these trips are coming to a successful end. This makes me extremely happy. It is my personal record: two consecutive days, 40 kilometers, and again 40. Northway 40, Southway 40 from Scala Marine actually in Scala Marine there is a kayak club but very leisure one I, I would say doesn't matter so uh, conclusion or I need to conclude something this second day I didn't take a rest while I was paddling. This was a mistake, I would say, but uh, sometimes you decide on go, and this was my decision. I prefer to stick to the good weather forecast instead of have a rest and uh, be unsure about the weather. On the other hand, every place I was trying, I was making shortcuts. I was going deeper, uh, further into the sea instead of going next to the shore and if I opt for a break that means that this shortcut failed that shortcut would have failed and at some point it's, uh, uh, I was pedaling 40 kilometers without a rest never happened before Again, human possibilities, human capabilities sometimes are limitless, but we shall not count on this. This is not normal. So, the negative side today about not having any rest was almost overheating. No wind, sun, noon, and too much heat. And I was, I dropped my camera off my head and start uh, soaking the the hat over uh, three five minutes and put it on my head so that I don't overheat this was the negative side of not having any rest what else now is the time that you see you have completed another goal and I'm asking myself what will be next honestly I don't know I don't have this time. so I'm not a professional athlete I'm not a professional kayaker 
I'm not a professional adventurer. I just want to make some adventures. No, this is the 40 kilometers mark. I do want to make some adventures because this makes me happier and makes me stronger spiritually and physically. I hope I will do a good video about this trip. I will combine both North and South Way in one bit. Hopefully it will be good. And wish you all kayakers health, high spirit and endless kayaking trips both from lakes, dams, rivers and sea and ocean. So, my name is Alexander Djurgiev, I'm from Bulgaria and this was my trip around Tassos, August 2021, all the best to you.